Hi, welcome to my channel Tech Easy Learning. Today we are going to see regex. I think everybody knows about this regex. If you don't know, you can go through this video. And already I have created a video for a regular expression count, like, etc. But generally, what is regex? We need to know that. Regex means regular expression. It is a short form. Regex is a short form regular expression. It is mainly used for email and password validations. That is as a string of test that allows you to create patterns that help match, locate, and manage the text. It is widely used in all languages, Perl, JavaScript, and MySQL, Oracle, etc. Okay, but extensively used in Perl. Okay. I think you are aware of this email validation, password validation. Email contains three parts. First one is name, other one is email provider's name, other one is dot com or dot in. So normally what is the name contains that email email name, the first part. It contains the uh, you will you will give one name, it's mixture of alphabets, underscore, hyphens, and numbers. One, two, three, Kalyan one, two, three at the rate of gmail.com. Password validation, I think how do you know how to create the passwords? Whenever you try to create the passwords, if it is not strong, if it, if it is not a fair one, it won't allow you to create the password. Your password should be the combination of the special characters like I, ampersand, hash, dollar, etc. And then alphabet and numbers. Alphabet A with capital or lower, uh, lower case and, and numbers. How we are going to do that, we will see now. I think you are aware of that brackets, square brackets, curly brackets, etc. We are going to use the square brackets, square brackets here. Okay. Yeah, here in the square bracket, we have given ABC. What does it mean? ABC means either it might be A, B, or C. Okay. Either that is string matching. We are going to do that. Either A or B or C. I will give an example at the end so that you can easily understand it. There is no need to confuse you. Okay. And confuse yourself. Either A or B or C. Then carrot symbol. I think you know about that negation that means apart from a b and c any other character any character other than a b c okay then a to z means basically it can be the lower case a to z the capital means it is the capital the upper case okay and then a to z and capital a to z and small a to z either we can uh, that uh, it, it means either a to z or Capital A to set. The number 0 to 9. That is uh, self excel net here. Okay. And then we are going to see about the quantifiers. Uh, what, is, what are the quantifier means? It, it tells about the repetition. Okay. Either we can use for one or more times. Okay. That square bracket. Now within the yeah, we are giving the square bracket. Within the square bracket, we are going to use the ABC. Apart from that, we are going to give within that square bracket, we are going to give that ABC, whatever be the thing, 0 to 9 or uh, either number or alphabet. And apart from that, we are going to specify the question mark or plus symbol or aspect like that. That, that symbols are quantifiers, which specify about the repetition. Here, question mark. First, we have about the given given the question mark. That means it is going to occur for zero or one time. Zero means may not occur. Okay? Zero means may not occur. One means it will occur. So within that bracket, we are going to give the ABC, whatever with the thing we have given above, no? the same thing. Okay. And then plus plus means occur one or more times and asterisk means occurs zero or more times either it may occur or more times if you give curly brackets and if you specify 
n n means number if we give 3 then it will occur for three times if we give comma then it will it will occur either the number or more than three comma means it will occur three times or more than three times why is it means occurs at least y time for example we will give two comma three means it will occur for at least two times and z means less than z means we will give one number three means it will occur less than three times Yeah, we are going to see about the meta characters. Meta characters mean short form. Before that, we have given what? That quantifiers. Okay. Instead of writing in brackets, we can use this meta characters. That means zero to nine means we can give backslash d. I think you have, you would have understood. Okay. Within that, zero zero to nine means it means Backslash D. Backslash D. Instead of zero to nine, we can give that. And the uh, that negation zero to nine, which apart from the zero to nine, it is, it is not uh, zero to nine. Like that slash W means uh, small means A to Z, capital A to Z, or zero to nine. Small, then the capital uh, W means negation of above. Okay. This is these are all the things uh, used for shortcut. and we will see what is the significance of the backslash we are going to give in the validation i am going to show you how we are going to use that in the mobile number validation okay we are going to check one mobile number okay it, it is going to start with 7 or 8 okay and then it should contain at least 10 numbers If it is not ten numbers, then it is not a correct pattern. So first we are giving seven eight. That means either seven or eight. Then we are giving zero to nine. It's a combination of zero to nine. It should occur for nine times. Why we are going for nine times means already the seven and eight is there for it, for the the starting number. Starting number already one number is there. So we are going to Check the combination of the rest of the nine numbers. So we are going to give nine in the curly brackets. So what will happen? This will check whether it is valid mobile number which starts with seven or eight, and the number should contain ten digits. Okay. Then we will go for the email validation. Email contains three parts. First one is name. Second one is Email provider's name and it will end with either dot com or dot in. Within the name, sometimes we may use what hyphen. Sometimes we may use underscore kalyan underscore one two three kalyan underscore hyphen one two three like that we will use. But there is one issue is there. Okay, we are going to search for that hyphen or. That the underscore or some other uh, characters like dot, not underscore, particularly for the hyphen and dot, it is predefined one. Okay, predefined means already we are using this hyphen for uh, zero to nine. If we again use the hyphen character here, it may mislead. That means it can the system cannot understand it. So we have to use the backslash. Yeah. Here I am going to write the validation. Yeah, for X, A to Z. That means email may contain capital small letters A to Z or capital letter A to Z or the numbers between zero to nine or it may contain some underscores. For I find we will put backslash. I think it is slash. I think. Okay, we have to use that backslash full stop. Okay, then we go for 
plus at the rate of then the email contains three parts so you have to use that at the rate of and then the email service provided them normally what is that either gmail hotmail or yahoo it is going to contain the alphabets always smaller case only so we can give within the brackets a to z smaller case then plus black slash dot okay that either dot com or dot in sometimes rarely it will be uk how many times that two or three that the uh, number of digits okay that the number of uh, letters sorry not digits the number of letters is either two or three either it will be dot com or dot in so within the brackets i have given two comma three so this is the for the email validation you can use this for email validation like this you have to uh, prepare the regex so a lot of validations you can do that if you want to do any extensive studies you want to go for any extensive uh, and uh, studies in regex you can refer to the manual a lot of uh, that the samples examples are available in the net you can google and you can go through it okay you will see the other topic in the next video and kindly share my video and support my channel thanks bye